the top 10 foods that prevent and fight cancer. Cancer is a disease where the DNA and the genetic material inside your cells gets damaged. This causes the cells to start mutating and growing uncontrollably. You see, unlike healthy cells, cancer cells lose their ability to die, basically becoming immortal, and they start spreading at a rapid rate through the body, using up your nutrients and burning through your sugar reserves as they go. As the cells mutate, they can form tumours, causing cancer in different areas, like your bowels, your liver, pancreas or your lungs for example. Cancerous cells can also destroy your nerves, your blood vessels and your organs, eventually leading to death. But the question is, what damages your DNA and your cells in the first place? One of the main causes is refined sugar that's often added to our foods, as this causes free radical damage to the mitochondria inside your cells. Another type of sugar that raises the risk of cancer is called high fructose corn syrup. This is also used to manufacture sweets, juice drinks, sauces and fast foods. Even the artificial sweetness that are used in diet soda like aspartame damage the insulin receptors in your cells which can also lead to cancer. Refined vegetable oils have also been shown to cause cancer along with processed grains and flour because these deplete your antioxidants, opening up the risk of DNA damage. Also, chemical pesticides and weed killers used to grow our produce is harmful to your cells, along with smoking, vaping, alcohol and other pollutants that we breathe in. Although we've all been exposed to some of these things, it's fortunate that there are natural foods that contain healing properties which help to prevent your cells from becoming cancerous. In this video, you'll be learning about the best 10 foods in the world that help to both prevent and fight cancer at the cellular level. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor for a proper medical diagnosis if you have any health concerns. The first item on my list is one of the most potent anti-cancer foods on the planet, raw garlic. Eating crushed raw garlic on a regular basis can help to block the growth of cancerous cells in your body. It contains natural chemicals like ajuin, allicin and sulphur which boosts antioxidant activity in your body. This will protect your cells, your mitochondria and your DNA from damage. Allicin found in garlic has also been shown to cause existing cancer cells to self-destruct and die. Please note however that it's very important to crush your garlic, this will activate the allicin and make sure that you eat it raw and uncooked as heat can destroy this delicate compound. Number 2 is an incredible food for preventing and protecting against cancer, broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are 2-3 to three day old microgreens which are sprouted from broccoli seeds. They are packed full of an anti-cancer chemical called sulforaphane which can cause cancer cells to commit suicide but leaves your healthy cells intact. What's interesting about these sprouts is that they contain 100 times more sulforaphane than fully grown broccoli. Studies show that when you eat more sulforaphane, your liver produces more enzymes that break down toxins and chemicals in your body that could have caused cancer in the long term. You can start growing these very easily at home using an inexpensive sprouting kit on your windowsill. You can also use cauliflower, radish, arugula or wheatgrass seeds as these too are packed full of anti-cancerous compounds. I recommend sprinkling them over the top of your cooked vegetables as the enzymes within will help your stomach absorb more nutrients from the cooked foods. Or you can simply toss them into a healthy salad on a daily basis. Number 3 is blueberries. Start eating a small handful of blueberries every single day to improve your overall health and strengthen your immune system. Blueberries and other berries contain plant pigments called anthocyanins which gives them their black or their purple colour. Anthocyanins are potent antioxidants and they protect your cells from free radical damage that occurs from the sugar, the junk foods, the vegetable oils and the other toxic junk that we take in regularly. 
If you want to protect your body from damage or heal from any medical conditions, you need to start focusing on eating foods that are rich in antioxidants every single day. Other anti-cancerous berries include bilberries, blackberries, strawberries, gooseberries and acai berry, some of which you can get as a powdered supplement. If you're finding this information helpful, please tap the like, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. Let's jump right back in with number 4, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is a type of fermented cabbage and it's often eaten in Germany. This is one of the richest sources of vitamin C in the world. One cup contains an enormous 700 milligrams of vitamin C. That's over 8 times the minimum daily requirements. Cancer often spreads into areas of inflammation and swelling in your body, where your tissues are inflamed. Real vitamin C, however, helps to lower this inflammation and remove free radicals in your blood in order to reduce the risk of cancer. It's important that you eat foods that are rich in the real vitamin C complex as the ascorbic acid supplements do not have the same effects as whole foods. I recommend that you eat a serving of sauerkraut three times per week. As it's fermented, it's rich in prebiotics and probiotics. These are friendly bacteria that help to feed your colon cells and prevent the growth of polyps, tumours and bowel cancer. Other excellent fermented foods that you could eat are plain Greek yoghurt, which is full fat, kimchi, miso and kefir. The fifth food is cruciferous vegetables. Many of us have abused our bodies for years, eating lots of junk food and sugar and perhaps even alcohol. Over time this causes toxins to build up inside the bones, the liver, the tissues and other organs which can raise your risk of cancer later in life. Fortunately, you can help your body to start removing these carcinogenic toxins by eating lots of organic cruciferous vegetables. Good examples are kale, cabbage, cauliflower, brussels sprouts, broccoli, beet tops, arugula, bok choy, collard greens, watercress, etc. Vegetables that are in the brassica family like these are packed full of anti-cancer phytonutrients like indole-3-carbonyl along with vitamin C, potassium, magnesium, B vitamins and much more. These nutrients will help your liver enzymes to break down toxins into harmless water-soluble particles that can be released through your urine. This is what we call phase 1 and phase 2 detoxification. Make sure that you don't overcook your vegetables however. You can lightly steam them but it's best to eat them raw in a salad with other vegetables like tomatoes, spring onions, herbs etc. Next I'd like to talk about two spices called turmeric and black pepper. Turmeric is one of the most well-known natural medicines for lowering inflammation and stimulating healing within the human body. You can start adding powdered turmeric to your stir fries, curries, soups or stews and it could also be used to make a herbal tea. The active ingredient inside turmeric is called curcumin. This is very potent and has been shown to prevent cancerous tumours from growing new blood vessels. This helps to starve off the cancer cells and prevent them from spreading. You should also add black pepper whenever you eat turmeric as this contains an alkaloid called piperine which can help you absorb curcumin up to 2000 times better. Up next is mushrooms. In China, mushrooms have been used for centuries in traditional medicine to help fight off diseases and boost the immune system against viruses and infections. Since the 1970s, in Japan and China, certain plant chemicals have been extracted from mushrooms and used as part of a treatment plan for cancer. Some of the best cancer-fighting mushrooms that you could start eating are turkey tail, cordyceps, chaga, lion's mane, reishi and maitake mushrooms. These actually have over 40 different phytonutrients that can help to fight and prevent cancer such as quercetin, hispalon, bisalane and many others. The eighth cancer-fighting item is matcha green tea. If you really want to improve the health of your cells, start consuming 2 cups of matcha green tea on a daily basis. 
Compared to regular green tea, matcha contains more chlorophyll and has more concentrated nutrients that have healing properties. One of the major compounds in green tea, called EGCG, has been shown to prevent cancer cells from spreading from a tumour to other tissues and organs throughout the body. Number 9 is wild caught fish. Cancer usually forms and spreads in parts of your body that are inflamed and damaged, so it's important to keep this inflammation under control. Doing this will reduce the risk of developing cancer and also help to fight against it if you already have it. Some of the most powerful anti-inflammatory foods are wild fish, like sardines, salmon and mackerel. These fish are loaded with active omega-3 fatty acids called DHA and EPA, which massively help to bring down swelling and inflammation in order to protect against harmful cancer. When following a medical plan for cancer, it's very important to eat these often to help your body cope with the chemotherapy drugs and medications. As a side note, you can also take Antarctic krill oil as a supplement at a dosage of 500 mg. This is rich in stable omega-3s and also contains astaxanthin, a powerful cancer-fighting carotenoid and antioxidant. Finally, number 10 is sugar-free dark chocolate. Cocoa beans that are fermented and used to make chocolate are packed full of antioxidants and phytonutrients, like chlorogenic acid, that have been shown to ward off cancer. Chocolate actually contains more flavanols than blueberries and acai berry, so adding this to your rotation is a great way to boost antioxidant activity in your body. Make sure, however, that you choose a high percentage organic dark chocolate with at least 70% cocoa solids and make sure that it's sweetened with stevia and not sugar. Eating a couple of cubes per day can also help to control blood pressure, regulate your cholesterol and lower cortisol. This is the stress hormone that can make you gain weight. Finally, let's take a look at some additional foods that have anti-cancer properties. I can't go into detail with these here today due to the scope of this video, but you may want to research these in your own time. Black seed oil, red algae, sweet wormwood, pumpkin seeds, ginger, celery, walnuts, oregano, ashwagandha and soursop. Other ways to prevent or fight cancer. Now that you have lots of information about which foods fight cancer, let's explore a few important lifestyle tips that you can use to protect and heal your cells. 1. Fasting for 48 hours or longer has been used by many patients periodically to reverse late-stage cancer. When you fast, IGF-1, glucose, insulin and other cancer growth factors are reduced which helps the body to heal and kill cancer cells. 2. Start eating foods that are rich in soluble fibre, like chia seeds. Soluble fibre feeds the friendly microbes that live in your gut, which can boost the amount of butyrate in your body. This lowers inflammation throughout the body and reduces oxidation, preventing DNA damage within the cells and the mitochondria. 3. Reduce or cut out processed meats from the diet. Stop eating foods cooked in vegetable oil and eliminate sugar from your body. This will help to prevent free radical damage inside the cells. 4. Hydrate the body with at least 1 litre of mineral water daily, avoiding tap water which can contain hormone disruptors. You can also add potassium citrate powder to your water which will help to improve cell function and remove excess sugar in your blood. Focus on eating organic antioxidant-rich foods that I've already discussed to stimulate cellular healing. Add low glycemic berries, lemons, krill oil, nutritional yeast, grass-fed beef, organ meats and sea kelp to your rotation. Lastly, number 6. Get 20 minutes of exercise at least twice per week. This massively increases oxygen levels in the blood by 10 to 20 times. Cancer cells don't live very well in an oxygen-rich environment. Exercise outside whenever you can as the infrared light from the sun can also boost melatonin which is a powerful antioxidant. And make sure of course that you quit smoking or vaping.
If you'd like to learn about more anti-aging vitamins that boost collagen production, go ahead and tap on this video on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video today, and as always, I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness.